This is Rob Tebbett for Behind the Gloves. I am here with Chris, too slick Congo, fresh off his performance on the Chris Eubank Jr. undercard. Mm -hmm. Chris, how you doing, mate? I'm good, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. Do you know what? Of all the people I've interviewed today, you're the only person to ask me how I'm doing. Do you know that? I'm with you, you're with me. I like that, man. I like that. I appreciate that. But obviously, we're here at the David Hay versus Tony Bellew public workout. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what did you make of the, the whole evening? What did you make of the workouts? Um, very good. Um, obviously, the main one you come for is the Hay, Hay and Bellew. Bellew looked good, he looked very sharp. I liked when he was throwing his feints. I think he should throw more feints to kind of shake off. You, you want to break, break someone's rhythm. And to do that, I think. Bell you needs to break Hayes' rhythm, jab to faint, jab and then faint as he comes out as well. And work on these combinations, but you know Bell you sometimes he likes he, he gets caught up in the emotions and the crowd, so he has to be very careful with that, especially with Hay. Um, what did you think to Hay? Hay, Hay looked good, looked sharper than I thought, looked very good. I think you know, we all know Hay is very explosive, very powerful. For me, um, my prediction for this fight is I'm thinking, hey, within one to four rounds and reason being very explosive, very quick. I saw his footwork today. He was very, he was very good with his distance, timing and judging. So, and that's what plays a part as well. We all know speed kills and that's what David has. So I'm sure he'll get the job done. You're also the first person to give me a straight up prediction, mm -hmm. not sitting on the fence, Isaac Chamberlain. <laughs> um, but okay, so you fresh out from your your last performance, which was over before it started. Really, it was a very very impressive performance. Come out very quickly, work in the body. Mm -hmm. um, when are you next out? Um, I should be out maybe April or May. Not too sure what type of show because I'm not really signed to anyone at the moment. So. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we can get back on the ITV, but I'm sure they were impressed with the amount of tickets that done plus the performance. So, yeah, man, I'm looking to keep on going with that sort of platform, stay on the ITV. Or if Eddie Hearn's watching, I'm here, man. You know, Eddie Hearn, Frank Warren, you know, we've been in talks with Francis Warren, whoever we're ready, man. I'm, I'm always in shape. Um, I obviously, Rest is very important. I don't think I'll be taking my rest very soon anyway, but we're always training. Me, Isaac Chamberlain, John Harden, you've got Richard Rapport here. Yo, Richie, I'm free. Big Richie, this is another crew. See, I need, to, I need to stand back to get you both in. Yeah. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Yeah, man, so yeah, we, we're always working in the gym. When it's time to rest, it's time to rest. When it's time to work hard, we're working hard. And right now, this is the very peak of our career. We're trying to build our career and get very far and make a name for ourselves. That's the main thing, so yeah, man, that's what we're doing. Uh, obviously, you both come from Miguel's gym, yeah. which is one of the hotbeds, I would probably venture around the whole UK for young and up-and-coming talent. Yeah. Um, how important is it for you both to train alongside each other? You're both very young, you're both hungry. How does that push you on? That H word that you said, hungry, you know, that's the most important thing because, uh, you know, our energies rub off each other, you know. You know, Chris, I might be down one day, but Chris is coming into the gym and he's just full of, full of energy. He's bursting and maybe saw a fight or maybe heard a few um, kind of um, opportunities and so on and so forth. And um, that gives us the motivation, you know, to push because we came from nothing. You know, our back, if you check out our background, you'll find out like we didn't have anything. You know, opportunities didn't come. We weren't born with no silver, um, no gold, and no silver spoon. Like we had to grind for everything that we got now, for just to even even be here. Like, it was, like it's like a blessing to us. And you know, once we get on the platform, trust me, we're going to perform. You know, whether it's in spectacular fashion or you know, we just get the job done. It's going to be done. That's the most important thing. So we're just waiting for our opportunity when it comes. You know, we're young, we're fresh. You know, we're just ready to just showcase our talent. That's the main thing. Yeah, that sounds good. Um, to echo what I just said to Chris um, about a prediction. Now, Chris has set the precedent now. Uh, so apparently only in Miguel's gym, apart from Isaac Chamberlain. I know you're watching Isaac. You don't give me any straight answers. Um, what's your prediction for the weekend? Hey, Bellew. Um, okay, from, when, from what I've seen here at the Open Workout, you know, my prediction was initially fourth round. Fourth round, third round, and I can put my money where my mouth is. But after seeing, you know, the snapping his shot on the pads, his footwork, his distance, I don't know if it's going to last even more than three rounds. And that's for Hay. Yeah. And you know, 
no disrespect to uh, Tony Belly, you know, I know he trained really hard for this fight, but it's just, it's just he's just he just looks like a different class. He's he's really athletic, athletic in comparison to um, to Tony Bellew, and that's going to show. You see the way he hit the pad and the sound, the sound of the pads. Obviously, it is just pads at the, at the end of the day, but any fighter will know that you know all he has to do is land one of those clean shots. And um, obviously, history history has shown us from um, um, Tony Bellew's last fight, he always um, seems to get get cool with a shot. He'll go down, but he, he comes back up like a zombie. But you know, how many times can he come up getting hit with a right hand like that? And once David Hay hits him once. You know, he, he's going to be like a shark, you just smell blood, you know, he's going to pounce on him and he's going to stay on him. He's not going to let him ease up or give him a chance to kind of recover. And I think he's just going to get, he's going to get him out there, you know, quite quickly. I'm, I'm, so I'm, I'm guessing round two, three. That's good, that's a proper breakdown and a proper prediction. I like Miguel's gym yeah. fighters. Yeah. But um, yeah, I think I'll be coming up to watch you guys train in the next couple of weeks. Yeah, um, so make sure you're in there, make sure you're giving yeah, it your yeah. best, of yeah. course, as I'm sure you will be. But um, thanks very much for your time. I've got one little bar of battery left. But um, yeah, if there's anything else you'd like to say, now Just speak. Give a shout out to everyone that's been supporting so far. Shout out to my sponsors, Fable King, Aristotle, AP Media, AP Online and everything. And also, anyone watching, add me on Instagram and Twitter at 2 slick Chris. Pass and you on to me, Richard Riakpo. Me, um, you can follow me at Chocolato Boxer. That's chocolate ah, in Italian. Yeah, I like it. You know, you're Italian, are you? You're funny looking Italian. I'm a style on the I just want to thank my sponsors, sorry to cut you. No, go. Um, I want to thank um, Hotel Raphael. They've been with me from the beginning, and, you know, and they've seen the, the, um, the, the journey, you know, three and all. You know, um, last two, two knockouts, I, I fought on the 18th of February, first round KO, two KO. And uh, on, on, in, in October, first round um, KO at the same time. You know, we're learning and we're improving and um, we appreciate all the people that are stuck, stuck by us and, you know, soon we should be getting some really good news, you know, so, like, really stay tuned, keep on following, you know. All right, well, thanks very much, guys, and I look forward to catching up with you in the next couple of weeks. Thank you. Michelle Joy Phelps, and if you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, make sure you go ahead and do so by clicking right here.